Hello, my name is Jerome and welcome to my RC construction website. Today, I'm going to attempt to do an oil change on my new Cabalite SK500 excavator. Um, on my other excavators and front end loader, there's a screw underneath the bottom of it that under the tank that I can unscrew that screw and drain all the oil. On this excavator, that, tr that screw does not exist. So there's really no easy way to get the oil out of the excavator to change it. So I've been doing a little thinking and I think I came up with a solution and I'll give you link to this in the, in the notes. What I did is I bought a push quick to con push quick connect which is right here. And I removed one of the screws in the extra line and just screwed that in there. So my theory is the other end of that quick connect, come on camera, focus, is this piece right here, which I attach to this hose. So my theory is this bottle, which I use to collect old hydraulic oil, I can stick part of this in here, click the other part in here, like that, click the other part in there like that, and when I apply pressure to the hydraulic pump, that the oil will just come out and fill up this jar. One thing I might have to figure out is which one of these actuators actually flows pump through this line. But I'm going to give it a try right now and see if I need to pause and do some more investigating. Powering up the transmitter. So the first thing I'm going to do is just turn on the hydraulic pump to see if anything comes out. And nothing is coming out. So I have to figure out which switch or button I have to push on the transmitter to get the fluid to flow. Let me pause. All right, I'm back. Took me over an hour to figure it out, but I finally figured it out. This excavator has six uh, valves to control different things on it. And I knew two of them weren't connected to anything. So I was trying in the transmitter to make them work to figure out which one went to this hydraulic line I added and nothing worked. So I took the lid off. And this is what I found. This right here is my 12 channel receiver. And these were extra unused plugs. This right here, plug number one, goes to the left track. This is for an extra valve. And what I plugged in here also goes to an extra valve. So I put an extra valve into the plug where the left track is controlled. And with that, I was able to get some flow. So let me zoom out. So now I have the excavator turned on. I have my line inside of here. And as I enable the left track, I gotta turn the pump on. You can see fluid is exiting. And it's quite dirty. All right.
All right, so this is the fluid that came out of the excavator and it is quite filthy. Oh my God. So I'm gonna put more fluid in here and get a cleaner running machine. Now I'm going to start putting more hydraulic fluid into the machine. Take off the filler cap. Pull up my syringe. Put my syringe in, turn on the pump. And start squeezing. I'm actually going to drain this out again and I might have to do it several times to get the fluid to be clean. So now we got movement. And I am going I emptied this bottle and now I'm going to drain the fluid again. I see the flaw in my thinking. It's only draining out enough fluid to reach the holes at the end of my boom. I need to get it closer to the source. Let me do some thinking and I will be back. Okay, my strategy was to have this holes down here below the level of the pump up on top of the table and I thought maybe that would make more hydraulic fluid come out but it did not uh, it came out the same as it did in the beginning just by a little bit so I just diluted it and flushed it over and over I did about seven syringes full of fluid in there and drained it back out and let me show you the results this is the last container of fluid that I drained out of here and this is fresh brand new fluid so they look pretty close especially if you consider this is the fluid that I drained out of there which was very dirty. I've, al I've always heard that you should drain your machine 
after running in an hour or two when you first get it just to get all of the crap flushed out of the system. So now I see for myself that this is actually true. So I've got to go outside to my storage and grab my gallon bottle of hydraulic fluid so I can fill up the ones I keep in the house and then also fill up the reservoir on this. So this is my tip for today, adding this hose it wasn't as convenient as I thought, but I did not know of any other way of getting the fluid out of this machine. So one thing I am going to do up here where I put that extra valve into track one, which is, or channel one, which is the left track, I'm gonna just have it conveniently placed here so I won't have to take the whole top of my machine off next time I want to change the oil. So that's my tip for today. If you like what you saw, click like. If you got any questions, ask me in the comments or if you need something and I will make a video for you later. Everything's back together. Have the fluid levels properly filled and this plug right here is the one for the extra pump servo, pump valve. So I can just grab this here, plug it into position one, and not have to take the top back off. So that's where this is at.